Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to backup your WordPress website in just a few minutes. A backup is a copy of your website on a particular date and time. The reason backups are so important is because they can be used to easily restore your website in case an error makes it crash. Anything from a plugin update to design changes can end up crashing your website. And without a backup, you will not be able to restore your website. That's why it is highly recommended you make frequent backups of your website. And the procedure to backup your website is very simple and can be done in just two steps. The first step is to download a backup plugin called Updraft on your website. So log into WordPress and from the dashboard, go to plugins and click on add new. Now in the search bar, search for Updraft and click on the install now button and then the activate button to install the plugin onto your website. Now the plugin has been installed and we can begin step number two. The second step is to take a backup of your website. So from the plugins page, click on settings. And from the next page, click on the big backup now button. From the pop-up, make sure the first two options are checked and then click on backup now once again. The plugin will start backing up your website. Depending on the size of your website, this could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. Once the backup is complete, click on close, and you can see the backup underneath the heading existing backup. Now, instead of manually backing up your website every single time, it makes sense to set up automatic backups. So to set up automatic backups, click on the settings tab, and beside the files backup schedule, select weekly. Now beside the database backup schedules, also select weekly. Now I recommend you change the retain option to 4 and 4 for both settings. This will ensure that your website is backed up every single week and the backups for the previous four weeks are saved. Meaning at any point in time, you will have a backup of the previous four weeks for your website. Now next you need to choose where you want to store the website backup. Updraft gives you multiple options to choose from. I'm going to choose Google Drive. So after choosing where you want to store the backup, scroll down and click on Save Changes. From the pop-up, click on the link and then sign in to your Google account. Once you are signed in, click on Allow and then click on the Complete Setup button to be taken back to WordPress. Now another thing you will want to know is how to restore your website using these backups. It's very simple. Open Updraft Settings. Make sure you're on the Backup slash Restore tab and scroll down to the Existing Backups section. From here, choose the backup you want to restore and simply click on the Restore button beside it. From the pop-up, select all five boxes, and then click on Next. Now click on Restore, and the restoration process has now begun. Once the restoration process is completed, click on the Return to Updraft button. Now if you visit your website, you will notice that it has been restored. And that wraps up this video showing you how to backup your WordPress website. If this video helped you out, Hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this.